All right, what's going on, friends? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change out your old incandescent bulbs, like one where you have just a light bulb, to LED lights. First thing I'm going to say is make sure you order the right size. Um, these, are, these do fit in mine. Some of these trailers are going to be a lot easier to match them up to. You'll see when you see me put mine in, in my trailer, I had to get the exact right size because mine go up inside kind of a metal housing. Um, a lot of trailers are going to be a little bit easier. You could actually maybe get different sizes if all you have to do is go through some holes. But now these are supposed to be waterproof because I'm putting this on my boat trailer. Um, if some of you guys are out there and you watch all my videos, I did sell my camper and I bought a boat. So now we're going to start doing some videos on a boat. My youngest loves fishing. So this is pretty simple. If your lights are work and you don't have any problems with any of the wiring, it's going to be real simple. If you have problems with your wiring, it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult. But now one of my, when I bought this boat, the one light did not work. And I'll show you what it looked like inside that light. It looked awful. And I, and my guess was the light just didn't work because it was so corroded. That's what it looks like inside the light. Pretty rough shape. The other one was working and that one looks great. But now let me show you. This is real simple. I'm going to show you what did come in my kit in case you want to buy this kit. Now it did come with a right and left light. Now when you get, if you do order these and you get these, these wires are going to go down. Okay. Now this one here is the left light. And the reason I know that is because when I look inside of it, I can see there's LEDs over here on the side down in there for when I turn my left turn signal and it's going to shine out this side. So I'm going to put that on the left for if I would be turning left. You can't see any over there. so. But it does come with a left and a right. I already have the right one over there and it comes with all these pieces. So I'll have different new bolts and new nuts and new nuts to put on. I'm probably gonna not going to use half of this stuff. comes with a new license plate holder if you want to use that. And it does come with a whole new bundle of wire. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to save that just in case I do end up needing to use that down the road. When I unhooked my other light, there was a brown wire a white wire and a green wire. So mine was really simple. When I cut them, I cut them as long as I could possibly cut them. And then I just hooked up the green, the white and the brown. I'm just doing that temporary. And then I'm gonna hook my left one up temporary. Then I'm gonna go inside my truck and I'll just put one of my boys in there and have them push the brakes in, turn the left turn signal, right turn signal, my hazards, my brakes and see if everything works. I also got these little butt splice connectors to connect the wires together and these are waterproof which will be nice to get to try to help keep the water out of all your wiring if i can find some of this stuff i'll put this down in the description too all right this is my left turn signal and like i said i'm going to get in here and try to cut these wires as long as i can possibly cut them actually these ones are already spliced together up here and I don't like these splices, so I'm going to cut this a little different. Somebody's already worked on this one. I can cut this brown wire longer. White wire. There we go. That'll give me just enough space to hopefully splice on my new. Yeah, that'll work. Strip these wires back. White one back. This yellow wire back. Now, I'm going to take this other LED light. We are going to temporarily strip these all back just to make sure everything works. Now, some of these you're going to Sometimes you're going to take this and maybe your lights might be like screwed right to the frame or something to ground it. But I'm just going to hook mine right up to the white wire because that's already grounded. 
and it seems to be working. So that's what I'm doing. All right, now some of these wires don't look really good, so I'm going to take just a little piece of sandpaper and try to rough these up a little because I think they were in the water a lot. Oh, yeah, now I can see the copper. So you want to get a good connection. White one's the same way. It looks black. Temporarily twist these together. Temporarily twist the yellow one together. And the brown one. Set that up. All right, that's all good. All right, left. That's good. Do the right one. All right, that's good. Hit the brakes. That's good. Um, oh, hazards. Yeah, that works. Okay. Now I gotta, I gotta try my lights. I don't, my lights must not be on. Yeah, it's good. Everything's good. And my lights. Ah, we're good to go. It's good. All right, now all I have to do is put the permanent connections on by using these waterproof connections. Like I said, I'll put these down in the description, real simple. Let me show you how I'm gonna do this. All right, I'm just gonna take these off. Temporary, make sure they're all spun together nice. Now in the center of these connectors, you're gonna want your wire to be about half, there's like a piece of metal inside there. You're gonna want your wire be about half of what how the length of that like so when I stick this wire in there it only goes halfway into that metal piece yeah you can't stick it in any further so I'm gonna cut the trim that back with these, tr with these side cutters trim that off a little Put that in there make sure you don't get the plastic up in that metal. And I'm just gonna crimp that down. <laughs> to get that crimp down, just give it a little light tug. I think I'm gonna crimp it one more time. Just make sure you don't crimp too far. I'm gonna be able to get the other one in. Okay, should be good. Nice and tight. Other wire in. I think it's a little too long. Oh, that's not, that's pretty good. That down. <clears throat> All right, now I got that. I have a heat gun that I'm just going to turn on and that's going to melt these tight. There we go. Okay, let me try to show you up and close and personal. See, I only want that wire to go in that metal piece inside there, about halfway. So I'm gonna put it in there and see if that's gonna be too long. Yeah, see, it's too long. So I'm gonna trim that back a little. Twist that up. better. Make sure the wire's in. Crimp it. There, there's that one.
tug. Looks good. I'm just the heat gun. Now let me get this white one and we'll hook this up in. Put my other my new little bolts up in there. Now yours may go in different than mine. I have to slide it up this little slot and then slide it over. So just like that. Put these nuts on. Stay. Ten millimeter. Right, that should be good. They're only plastic. One thing that might be a little easier is that if you take your three connectors and hook them on your light first, like I said, make sure you don't have too much wire on there. See, that doesn't go all the way in. So I have to trim some of that back. Twist that up. And put that in. That's good. Crimp it. Make sure the plastic sheathing on your wire doesn't go in that metal. I don't think it would even fit, but you're definitely not going to get a good connection. One more, and then I just see these connectors are for 18 to 22 gauge. All right, just one more connector. Let's see you, dummy. together. Definitely got that a little too long. Let's get it cut a little bit off. Oops, make sure your wire's all the way in there. Now that's going to make that a little easier to connect these wires. Now let me get the other ends connected. All right, I got all three connected. Now I just need to get my heat gun and shrink these down onto the wires. All right, I got them all hooked up. Now I'm gonna go back in my truck and try them out one last time and I should be good to go. Okay, now let's go left turn signal. Right turn signal. Brakes. Looks good, I can see it in the reflection. And hazards. All right, well that's about it. I hope this video helped you out a little bit with putting either new lights on your trailer or new lights on your boat trailer or maybe you just wanted to replace your lights to, to upgrade to LEDs. Give this video a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know some of the stuff you might want to see about this boat. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a great day.